Just imagine, you and your friends go to Russia, where one of them said he has a friend who will make them participate in an escape room unlike everyone else. However, when you get there, you realize what it was really about, and it's not at all what you had imagined. I'm Lancelot and in today's movie recap we'll watch Follow Me. The story begins by showing us Cole, a vlogger who, in celebration of 10 years recording for the internet, went with his friends to Russia. Inside the plane, while recording for his channel, he shows his friends, Dash, who organized the trip, Samantha, an extreme sports women and Aaron, his girlfriend. Besides them, before he stopped recording, he was surprised by one more person, his childhood friend Thomas. Following the trip, when he was no longer recording he asked them to reveal to him what they would be doing in Moscow. So, Dash explained that he has a friend there named Alexei, who is very rich. He is a fan of Cole's work and wants to take them to the best places in Russia. In particular, an escape room that was specially built for them and only invited people have the right to participate. Just before they land, Thomas asks Cole how he's feeling about her relationship, and he says it's the first girlfriend who really understands him and makes it clear that he loves her dearly. After landing, inside the airport, Dash starts doing the wrong thing, climbing on the conveyor belt of the bags to see where they go and being arrested for it. Cole tries to talk to the police, however, they threaten to arrest him too, until Alexei appears and showing his documentation makes the police leave quietly. He introduces everyone to his girlfriend Victoria, security guard Sergei and private driver Vitaly. At night, the rich Russian took everyone to a nightclub, where they had a lot of fun and drank together. While recording for his audience, two evil-looking bald men started to hit on Aaron and Sam, upon seeing this, he goes running there, Alexei points a knife at one of them, while the other pulled a pistol, before the situation worse, his security arrived, kicking the two bullies out, but not before one of them swore that Alexei and Cole would pay for it. In the car, returning to the hotel, the atmosphere turns strange, when Cole seemed to care more if people had seen everything than with his girlfriend. Upon arriving in her room, the two talk about it and apparently everything is fine. The next morning, Aaron and Cole decide to have a day alone. Leaving the hotel, a black car was waiting for them. The driver was very strange, not wanting to let them go down to see the red square, however, when they insisted, they left. They go to a cafe, and when opening the cake of money they had received from the strange driver to pay the bill, a mysterious red paper ended up falling out. The waiter appeared and said that that was all on Alexei, so there was no need for them to pay. Talking, Aaron tries to warn him that the night could be very intense, however, before she could continue talking, he interrupted her, saying it was just an escape room. At night, they arrive at the agreed place, Cole tries to return the money, but closing the window on his arm, the driver refuses, saying he could stay. Alexei told Cole that he already participated once and was sad that he couldn't go again as it is forbidden to go twice in this escape room. Together with his friends, they enter the special room, and everything that happens there will be broadcast live on Cole's channel. Alexei gives the instructions, they are in a Bolshevik prison, in a facility they used to get the truth out of their enemies, if you know what I mean. The last man executed is still inside, he took the key to the cell block and hid it in the only place he could. Cole's mission is to release his companions before time runs out or everyone there will be executed as well. Putting a bag over his head, they take him to a room with a naked man lying down with an X on his belly. A timer with one hour starts, next to the man there are several cutting tools, so Cole understands that he would need to open it. With a scalpel, he cuts his belly, taking his guts out and opening his stomach, he finds the key. By using it, he manages to leave the room and open another one, but when he steps out of it, that saddle closes, preventing him from returning. While walking around, Cole sees his girlfriend in a water tank and Sam trapped in what appears to be an electric chair. Suddenly his other friends call out to him, they were trapped in other torture devices, Dash in an Iron Maiden and Thomas with his arms and legs bound. A few gears start to move, and your traps have started. Still treating it as a joke, Cole takes his time to solve the riddles that were in the rooms in front of his friends. Those trapped begin to find it a little too dangerous, with Thomas in great pain from being pulled and Dash almost having his eye gouged out. 
However, before anything bad happens, the protagonist manages to solve the riddle and save them. Next is Sam. In the room in front of her there was a kind of maze with a metal tool. Every time they missed or touched the edge they would make her take a shock. Thinking it was a joke, Dash decides to miss on purpose, being stopped by Thomas. Understanding that it was hurting her, they decide to quickly solve the maze. Opening the door and taking her out, who was very angry, wanting to get out of that escape room now. They try to talk to the cameras without success, even though until recently they were responding. Sam tells Dash to talk to Alexei as he's a friend of his, then he reveals that he doesn't really know Russian very well, he just knows that he's super rich and a fan of coal. As they are arguing, Thomas interrupts them, the tank Aaron has started to fill with water. The riddle in the room ahead is the same as Die Hard 3, which consists of two gallons of water, one with three and the other with five liters, and to complete the challenge, they need to find a way to dump it in another compartment. Four liters of water. Thomas, for loving the movie and having already done it as a child, managed quickly, thus opening Aaron's cell. Even with the door open the tank continued to fill up, on top of it there was a hatch, however, because it was rusty, they could not open it. Desperate, they shouted for Alexei to stop the game, however, they had no answer. In search of a way to save his girlfriend, Cole has an idea. He took one of the gears and used it to open the hatch, managing to get Aaron out of there. She nearly drowned, managing to spit out the water she'd swallowed while being outside. Their time is up and with the key that was with her, they open the door at the end of the corridor. However, in the room where Alexei and the others were supposed to be, there was no one, only blood and some broken things. Even with his friends disagreeing with this, Cole breaks the lock on the door that trapped them. When they leave there, they come face to face with Victoria on her knees and that bald guy who had threatened them in the club with a gun to her head. He shoots, and putting some bags over their heads, they put them in a van, which is being driven by that strange driver. By the time Cole could see again, he was in a room with a bunch of tools and a lot of blood. A villain-looking Russian appeared with a gun, scaring the protagonist and showing a camera. They are being recorded, apparently the bad guys kidnapped them for a private show, where other Russians paid dearly to see these Americans ripped apart. The villain says that they will start with the girl and that every half hour they will kill another one, until they finally reach him. They take him to another room, where on a monitor, he sees his girlfriend, until the screen goes blank. After a while, he hears some screams, the screen returns, but this time the killer was with Sam, where with a knife he cuts her neck. Desperate to get out of there, Cole beats the handcuffs against the bed that was rusty and broke. Trying to escape, the protagonist enters the air duct and ends up seeing the villainous Russian with Dash. And like Sam, he ends up killed by the man, who, hearing something in the pipe, manages to see Cole. With that, the protagonist leaves there as quickly as possible. Some men with flashlights look for him and, making noise in another corner, manages to lose them. He finds a door with a password lock, in his pocket, there was that red paper that was mixed with money and in it four numbers, which were the password. Cole bumps into the strange driver, who says he's trying to help him but can't say more for fear of someone. Before he can ask anything, he says that the protagonist doesn't have time, that his friends are hopeless and he should get in his car and go. Two men appear, finding the driver suspicious, they beat him up and take him inside. Cole, who was hiding, got into the car, but he couldn't leave the people he loved, so he got back in there. In a room, he found Thomas, who, because he is without glasses, cannot see anything. As they ran away together, Cole hugged his friend, apologizing for everything and telling him that Dash and Sam were murdered. Trying to remove his handcuffs, Thomas ends up making a noise and attracting the attention of the henchmen who were chasing them. However, removing a grid from the floor they manage to escape and leaving there they stop in front of an open elevator. One of the henchmen finds them, and running to catch them ends up falling into the hole with Thomas. Crying, already without hope, he finds a weapon that that man dropped and with it he intends to avenge his friends. Hiding, he sees Alexei together with the bandits who did these things to his friends and seeing the paper with the garage password, they kill the driver. Cole hears his girlfriend's voice and entering the room sees the killer with her, who upon seeing him, points a gun at the girl. 
Aaron headbutts the man, giving Cole a chance to put a bullet in his gun and fire. However, failing to finish it off, the killer kills her with his pistol. The henchmen arrive and throw the protagonist into a room, where he manages to lock himself in and finds a grate. Managing to pull it off, Cole enters there and ends up falling into a dark room, with Alexei holding a cell phone and asking what it felt like to lose everything. Furious, Cole goes up, and punching him and using the gun to hit him, ends up killing him. Suddenly, the lights come on and he's been completely fooled. In reality, it was all a joke, and no one had really died, just the Russian. Thus, his girlfriend and everyone else was in shock, while the protagonist went more and more crazy. Hey guys, what would you do if you were in the protagonist situation? Leave it here in the comments. If you liked the video and want me to bring you other movies, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Hope all is well with you, until next time.